Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andy, broadcasting to you under my Sonya Deville appreciating pseudonym, The Uncommentator. We're now back in the Smackdown arena for episode number 10, match number 10 of this WWE Crush Hour playthrough as we play through with Lita, trying to win the Women's Championships. I'm assuming the last time we were here, uh, there were three. There were only two opponents, so I'm assuming there will be three opponents this time, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon as we make our entrance. And well, this music's becoming quite familiar to anyone that's watched the whole series. Out comes Billy. So the Fink introduces Billy. I actually heard it that time. Sometimes, sometimes I can't hear the introduction, particularly if I'm talking. Okay, it's Jeff Hardy with the music that... Did, when did he ever use this? I don't know. He probably did. But I have no idea. I used to have that glow-in-the-dark face paint that he rubbed on himself on his entrance. It was called cool, that. Ah, and another uh, another female uh, competitor, I think it's safe to say, from the video. The Sporty Two Door. That could be a euphemism. For, anyway, uh, yeah, so Trish, uh, Trish Stratus. So we've got Trish, Jeff Hardy, and uh, Billy Gunn. And much like the last time we had three opponents in the Raw arena... We need 20, uh, 20 knockouts, so this may take a little bit longer as we get pounded by twisty rockets. Whatever it is, it's uh, laser-guided rockets, maybe. So we'll get some health back. What was that we just jumped over? Ah, ramming power. I like ramming power. At least I, I do anyway when I manage to hit the, uh, the person I'm trying to ram. <laughs> None on that occasion, I didn't. There's only going to be one winner here, and it ain't going to be me. So let's try and uh, get blown up with this fire. So we don't give somebody a kill. There we go. Yeah, if you uh, if you die due to fire like that, you lose a kill. But obviously we didn't have any kills to lose, so it wasn't wasn't really... Uh, there was no risk involved. Right, let's blow that up. Let's open up the uh, these hidden paths, get some weapons. Ooh, twisty rockets. There we go. Come on, Billy. Goodbye, my friend. Say goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. But uh, he was never that. I'll get the old ramming power back. Where's that health? It's gone. Who's that? Who's blue? Jeff Hardy. No, the ramming power's gone. That's annoying. I'm about to get blown up, I think, by somebody. Are we? Can I run through the wall? Yes, I can. We're just delaying the inevitable. Oh, hello. That was useful. Right, ramming power. There we go. Ramming power coming in handy there. I'll go back in here, get some more twisty rockets. Yeah, I said this before, but I do prefer this arena to the raw one. It's uh, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more exciting. Um, I, do like, I just like these hidden bits and one or two other bits and bobs. Ah, oh, I didn't even miss that. That was, a, that was a free kill there. No, Jeff Hardy's nicked it. That was annoying. Could have had that one. I was never a big Jeff Hardy fan, to be honest. Um, not just because he nicks my kills. There we go. Yeah, I was, I was never the biggest. I was never the biggest Jeff Hardy fan. Uh, although I did like his... Um, I did like it when he became... He became world champion in, was it about 2009 or something? When he had that feud with CM Punk. That, that feud was great. Go away, Trish. Don't get on my... Uh, get on my wick. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that, that feud with CM Punk that he had before he left. I thought it was great. The uh, culminated in that uh, lad TLC match at SummerSlam. That was a great feud. Really, really good. Almost made CM Punk that, even pre-Pipe uh, pre Bomb. CM Punk, my all-time, not quite my all-time favourite, but one of them. My all-time WWE favourite. My all-time favourite is Kenny Omega, if anyone's interested in that. I do like Kenny Omega. I think he's very, very talented. And very, very good. I suppose the same way as saying talented. Uh, right, anyway, back to this game. Uh, right, five kills, so we're not doing too bad at the minute. We've got some nice opponents, though, here, to be fair. We've just been taken out. Uh, somebody's... Oh, hello. Can we get you before you get the health? Yes, we can. Billy Gunn, somebody they tried to push. I did like the uh, the one nickname that he had in... Uh... I know a few people... I know 
a lot of people didn't really like that nickname, but I thought it was quite good. I thought it was a good little, uh, yeah, I thought it was quite good. Although I remember Armageddon 2000, he faced, uh, he faced uh, someone who we can't talk about. And he just basically got his ass kicked. <laughs> or his ass kicked, I should say. And that's the first time on, uh, that's the I, if, if you call that a swear, but that's the first time I've sworn on any video I've ever done. So I do apologise for that. I think, I think we can get away with it. It's not for those meddling kids. Oh, I didn't realise he had ramming power. Oh, hello. It's a, it's a free-for-all here, isn't it? Just now on to six kills. If I can kill these two. That's one gone. That's another gone, yep. We've managed to get them both somehow. Now on to eight kills, so we're nearly at the halfway point. I'm doing too badly here, to be, to be fair. I do, as I said, as I've said a million times, I do prefer this arena. I find it easier as well. I think, I think, I, th I like this arena because I think you can hide. Whereas on the raw arena, you, you, there's no real hiding places, and I think things are a bit more awkward to get to. Whereas here, you know, the weapons are hidden away, and there's there's places you can kind of hide. Um, and I know where the health and stuff like that is. Whereas on raw, I just don't think there's, a, don't think you've got the same luxury. You're a bit more exposed, so it's a bit more difficult. Right, got a finisher here, so if we can try and get two cars in close proximity, we can maybe take two out. Is that all three I took out there? I don't know, we've shot up to 12, um, we've shot up to 12 kills, whether it was or not. Uh, we'll get the mines. I think we're going to get blown up here yet. There we go. Just caught in a pincer movement. Yeah, I remember Trish, uh, mentioned this in a previous video, the Trish and Lita feud. I was always, I was always in uh, Camp Trish. I think it was just because... When I was a teenage boy, um, safe to say that I was quite a fan of hers for one for for uh, for some reason. Uh, well, reasons I guess would be the more accurate way of putting it. But uh, yeah, I was a I was always a Trish fan rather than uh, rather than Lita. So um, don't know why I was I don't know why I wasn't Trish too much. I think I was the reason I was well I do the reason I was Lita for this run because I wanted to be an unlocked I wanted to be an unlocked character rather than um, rather than something that, that you start with. I don't get a kill him, we're a bit disappointed. So I'm gonna be disappointed. Right, we'll open you up. Oh, another annihilator. Can I get some health? There we go. Oh, Trish comes and uh, maybe annihilates me. There we go. Take out Billy Gunn. And Trish takes me out. Oh, I'm 13. We're way out in front here, aren't we? Yeah, Trish debuted in about, uh, it was 2000. What did she debut on? Heat. If I remember correctly, um, Heat not one of the arenas on this game. If I remember, again, if I remember correctly, I think it is. There is a there is a random there is a random uh, one on here. Like it's not main event, but it's something like that. You just think, what? Why is that on? But apparently it is. I keep missing with that annihilator, don't I? Not very uh, not very accurate with it. No, we only need six more kills. So let's get this health. Ah, uh, bonus. Why not? Or turbo, I should say. Somebody's shooting me. Who is it? I don't know, we're going to shoot them with twisty rockets. Ooh, there we go. That came off worse there. Billy Gun mops up uh, Jeff Hardy. So it's now 14 7 6 6. Yeah, I've watched wrestling for. Um, well, that was. Uh, <laughs> that was bad. I've watched wrestling since 1999, pretty much. Um, pretty much without without taking a break. I, I never actually had. Well, I, I would say I have got Sky, but I didn't. I, I mean, in, in the UK where I'm from, um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of uh, most of the people that watch this video will probably be uh, probably be American. But yeah, in the UK where I'm from, uh, I didn't have the uh, I didn't always have the channels to watch it. But um, I always managed to. I normally knew someone who taped the who'd uh, tape. Anyone remember videotapes, VHSs? Somebody would record the pay-per-views for me, and I'd managed to borrow them. So yeah, I've kind of watched it since since '99. Um, just just never just kind of watching out of habit, really. Now, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still like it, and it's still uh, you know still still intriguing to me, but it's just not quite not quite what it was. I think it's safe to say. Um, wasted that one, didn't I? Um, but yeah, there's there's still there's still good to be found in it. Uh, at the minute, I'm actually watching. Um, well, not at the minute. I'm playing this game, but uh, when I'm not playing this game, I'm actually watching Nitro. Um, I'm going through. I'm watching all the Nitros back. Well, I say back. I never actually watched them in the first place. 
Um, so yeah, so I'm quite looking. That should be. I'm quite uh, enjoying that actually. So I'm, I'm literally watching Nitro from the beginning. So I started in uh, September 1995. I think I'm up to I'm up to October 97. It's just been Halloween Havoc. The uh, that um, that timeless cage match between uh, between Hogan and uh, between Hogan and Roddy Piper. So uh, yeah, that's yeah. That's, well, I'm watching yeah, I'm watching all the nitros and then the pay per views when they come along. So I'm quite enjoying it, actually. Yeah. So bit of bit of a wrestling nerd. I'm not going to lie. Uh, during this uh, lockdown period, for uh, you know what, let's use the power up. Let's get rid of the uh, Jeff Hardy. Two more kills. Yeah. During this uh, lockdown period, because of a certain uh, certain disease that seems to be uh, doing the rounds at the minute. I um I did an online I did an online quiz, an online wrestling quiz, and actually won it. About forty of the people in it. Thanks, Trish. That that's actually that's annoying me actually. I Jeff Hardy I Jeff Hardy beat that. That was mad limitating. Yeah I did an online quiz and won it. There's about fifty uh not as annoying as that was. There's about there's about fifty people in it and um I won. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, a bit of a wrestling nerd, uh, which is why I buy, uh, which is boy, which is why I buy games like this, even though they're terrible. I will still buy them because they've got the logo on them. I actually had two. Um, I actually had two. Flip. I actually had two uh, WWE board games. Um, I think one was called Wrestling Challenge. It was back when it was called uh, back when it was still WWF. It was. I can't remember what it was. But it had like. It had like cards in it. I don't know. Earthquake was one of them. I remember. And um, I also um, where's Billy Gunn? Where are you? Okay. I need to. I need to, I need to remember to accelerate when I press the turbo. Yeah. One was Earth. Earthquake was in it. And then there was also another game where you, there was another game where. Um, please. No. What the hell's going on? Not oh, for Pete's sake. That was annoying. It just happened to time it so there was fire coming up. Right, let's get away from this bit because it's not going very well. I have to say I've, I seem to have I seem to have ground to a halt in terms of kills. I don't know if it's because I'm talking about board games. Also, I'm I'm going through. I seem to be going through that phase of coming out of the uh, coming out of the entrance way and then literally getting hit with a, uh, a super weapon straight away. I got that kill then, so I don't know why it went to somebody else. Where's Trish? Come on, please. Yes, there we go. Got one of them at least. That went on to 18. Yeah, I, I had another board game that had um, had like a mini ring with it. How did he have a? How did he have a? How did he have a finisher straight away? That's nonsense. I'm actually slight, getting slightly concerned. I don't know if it's because I'm just talking rubbish that everyone's catching me up. I don't think it is. I think it's just nonsense, really. <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, the board game that had a mini ring with it. That was absolutely dreadful. There was like four, um, was like four little characters with it. It was it was Kurt Angle, Hulk, Hulk Hogan, I can't Triple H probably. I can't remember the other one. Right, I need to switch back on here. Not that I ever switched off, but I really I'm getting kind of screwed here. I'm I'm getting screwed here because I'm basically somebody's nearly dying, and then I'm dying just as they're about to die, and so basically I'm then getting. So Timmy's getting two kills. Yeah, and and then I keep getting hit with a finisher as well, which is really getting annoying. If I can just get another finisher, somehow, if I can somehow get a finisher, there we go. I have to take these two out here. There we go. Finally, right. Just one more left. Oh, there we go. Hello, Trish. Is that Trish? He's got double damage, so I need to be careful. Zoom over. No. No. No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. I was worried then because I saw Trish was nearly dead and, and I thought Billy Gunn was in the vicinity. Well, that was closer than it could have been. Ah, but we got there in the end. Also, apologies if the if the mic's... I've said this on a few videos, but if the mic's picking up the button bashing that I'm doing, I do apologise. I don't have a uh, headset. I just have a microphone on the table that I'm talking into. And obviously my hands are next to the table. So I do apologise if it's picking those up. But anyway, it doesn't matter. What does matter is we've completed episode number 10. So we got 20 wins. Only just, but we managed to do it. Uh, you got my life story as well, so aren't you fortunate? 
So that was 15 minutes of fun. If you enjoyed that video, then please like and share the video. Also, you can leave a comment down below if you want to tell me your life story. That would be fantastic. I would read it and enjoy every second of it. But join me next time. We're going to be moving on to episode 11. I don't know what it is. Probably another uh, special match type rather than just a, a free-for-all. But until we get to that point, for now, it's Sayonara. <laughs>